all right, so we have created the provider, but this provider doesn't have a value yet, all right? So I am going to give to this provider some value, all right? And this means that on the container, I'm gonna create a state and I'm gonna say message. Message hello, all right? And all I'm gonna say is the value, value is gonna pass this state, that message. And that's it. So now my provider has a value inside. Now, how do I consume from my provider? This is the important part. How do I consume and how do I get this uh, message without passing a prop? So I'm gonna go to my notification and I'm gonna go to the notification presenter, all right? And from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to import the store from the store. All right, it's very important to import the store, okay? Now, all I'm gonna do here is let's say that I want to consume the message from the provider and I wanna consume it on the text. So I'm gonna delete the text. All right, and I come up here and I say store.consumer. All right, and now I have a consumer. And now what the consumer, the consumer expects, well, what the consumer expects is a child function, all right? You cannot, you shouldn't give um, the consumer any other thing that is not a function as a child. This means you cannot give it a span, all right? No, this is gonna be an error, let's see. Render is not a function, whatever, all right? because you need to give it a function, okay? That is very, very important. So now the consumer, what the consumer expects is a function. And inside of this function, the consumer is gonna give you the store, all right? He's gonna give you the store, all right? And now all I wanna do here is do JSON stringify the store. And let's see how it goes, look. Hello, all right, I can just do this, store, hello, that's it. Now, if I do stuff like this state, because I wanna pass the whole state, it's gonna be an error, no problem, and I'm gonna stringify it now. Message hello. So as you can see, I'm passing all the state, right? And I'm consuming it only from notification presenter. This is how easy it is. It's amazing, all right? And I'm so happy about this change because I really, really, really like it. Like, it's so cool, right? You can also pass more stuff. You can do, I don't know, stuff. It is going to be passed down all the way to the consumer, all right? And the first argument is going to be, of course, the store, all right? So imagine that you handle the authentication here and you say, like, uh, logged in. False, right? So you can just check inside of here, store that logged in, and it's false, all right? So this is it, this is how it works. You create a provider, you plug it at the top, okay? And then with the same store imported, you create a consumer, and the consumer is gonna give you a function that is gonna have the store as a variable, all right? It's going to have it here. Let's the store the value, whatever. The value of the provider is gonna have it as the first argument, all right? So now I can just stop fucking around and I can pass messages like this. Store that message, all right? And it will say hello. Now what happens if I change this message? Do you think it will re-render? Let's see, component did mount. Set timeout of one, uh, two seconds. And this set state message by one, two, by. All right, so also if you change the state that is 
as a value of the provider it will re-render. Do you remember how painful it was to change the store in Redux? You had to make an action, dispatch it, action creator, bullshit. Look at this right now. Super, super clean. All right. And this is it. That's the introduction. I will see you on the next video. We are going to um, create the notifications. We're going to pass them down. And then at the end, we're going, I'm going to show you how we also can um, put functions on the state. All right, to change the, the store. So see you on the next video. Bye-bye.